Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a lovely, I think it's a really rather nice bag and it's got daisies on it. Now there's a funny story. I hadn't actually planned to do this bag with this pattern on the outside. I planned to do it with this, but then instinct took over when I was scoring and I just, without thinking, scored the pattern side up. And I thought, that's okay. I can show both versions, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, but these are Rococo rose flowers on here, and I thought, let's take, let's just take a punt while I'm filming, and I have no idea what colour I'm going with. I think I will just pull a few out once I've got this put together and see what comes up. Okay, so you need a piece of paper that is 8 by 12 inches, 20 by 30 and a half, and this is from the pressed petals pack, so you get twice as much in that, because it is a bit thinner, than our usual paper but it's still pretty sturdy okay so on the long side score it at two and seven eighths five and three quarters eight and five eighths and eleven and a half inches in metric seven and a half fifteen twenty two and a half thirty and then on the on the short side score it at two and seven eighths of an inch seven and a half centimeters oops just wibbled all my good paper I might need another block. I have to leave the whole pack because I like it heavy and not moving around. And I do have under here, this is an anti-slip mat that somebody bought me, Jen Hogarth bought me years ago when I was an early demonstrator and my grid paper would go everywhere. And it arrived in the post with a little note saying, this will stop your grid paper moving. And this is exactly, the, it's the same one, five and a half, six years later that she sent me. And it doesn't move. It's when I've got heavy stuff on the grid paper when I'm filming that it moves. Yeah, it's one of those things that you put down when you've got, you know, if you eat, your, eat a meal off a tray or something like that and you don't want it to slide about, you put a piece of that, piece of this stuff down. Or, you know, if you've got stuff on your worktop so you don't want it to slip about. Brilliant. Okay, so you can see I've just burnished everywhere. And what I'm gonna do now, if I turn it this way, you can see I've got a horizontal score line and a vertical, and then I've got I've got all of these vertical lines. So I'm going to cut straight up to that horizontal point on all of those, and then remove that little thin part there. And I'm un seriously I'm undecided as to what colour daisies. I believe daisies can be any flower, any colour flower. Um, I'm totally taking poetic license. Anybody who's watched my videos will know, or watched them for a while, will know that I am horticulturally challenged. Wouldn't know a flower if it jumped up and bit me. They're, that's not true. I know a few. I know Carla lilies because they are my absolute favourite, and Grand Prix roses, which are the very, very dark red, great big flouncy, velvety ones. I know those. I know a daisy in my garden. I wouldn't know the other kind of daisy. I only know the ones that are on my lawn. Um, and dandelions. Because dandelions are not weeds. They are flowers in the wrong place. Um, I know roses. And that is about your lot. <laughs> oh, I know dahlias now. Um, somehow I grew some this year. Didn't know I'd planted any, but I did. So there we go. So that's the bottom all closed up and the sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squish this way just gently and use my fingers down the sides. Okay. Then I'm going to go the other way and pinch because I want a sort of a kind of a cross across the top. So I'm going to pinch there too and again use my fingers. And so I've got a kind of a cross pattern going on. So there's my, yeah, there's the front. This ribbon is from a pair, let me get the other one, there's a pair of them and they are in, I want to say Magnolia Lane, and it is Old Olive Baker's Twine, um, and then this one which is, it's very nice, it's just a nice simple plain ribbon, I'd say it's on the burlap side of things, not an exact burlap but close enough. Okay, so, although I'm tying my ribbon in the middle, tying my bow in the middle, I will slide it 
I'm going to slide it after and I'll tie that completely upside down. I'm going to slide my, my bow to where I want it to afterwards. So bow that is all over the shop, but you know, I sort of tied it. I think it tied me more than me tying it. Oops, there we go. So now what colour? So I bring out Rococo Rose, that's the one I did before. Not sure that I want that. Um oh what about a blue? About the new bay. Oh, that could be quite fun. Hmm, should I bring one more colour out just for about this one? Oh, it could go either way. I wouldn't say no to that one. I could just have a whole string of daisies, couldn't I? Shall I have a string of daisies? Shall I just do it? Why not? Okay, let's find some scraps. Oh, I haven't got any scraps, so I'll have to go big. Let's just have lots because I'm using Daisy Lane. I've got two sizes. I've got three on there. Why not? Let's chuck out the rules. So my medium Daisy on this one. And my bigger Daisy on this one. You need to line up the points of the petal going up and down. Okay, and I have got my stamping scrub over here so you put stamping mist on one side where you've got a little cut out sunshine so you put it on there and you clean up your stamps and then you dry on this side but I'll be doing this off camera you won't see it so you'll hear it though just moving it a bit closer right so gorgeous grape we'll have a big gorgeous grape and I need two of those Two melamambos. Oh, that needs reinking, doesn't it? Can you see that? It's all pale in the middle. Right, so here's where I'm going to clean. So I've got my stamping mist here. One little one of the bit sprays. So that's all cleaned up now. Oh, bracelet's gone rattly. Sorry. And then Bermuda Bay. Okay, and I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella and I'm just going to wash over the petals. If you saw my video the other day, there's a slight issue. Do not ink the middle if you're going to be layering them up. They don't like to stick together. So I'm just washing over to change the colour a little bit. You can see the difference between those two already, can't you? And it's going to make it all pretty and glittery. Okay, I'm just going to clean off there and do the same with the Melon Mambo. Oh gosh, that one moves beautifully. That's really tinted up the colour. Can you see the difference? I'll bring it up a bit closer in a second. Can you see the difference between those two? The one on the right being Wink of Stellarid and the one on the left not. Gorgeous. Yeah, this technique works with aqua painters and blender pens as well. But I like the Wink of Stella. Oh, look at that with the Bermuda Bay. That's gorgeous. Ooh. Oh, I'll bring that one closer too. That has really made the difference. I really hope that's translating on camera. If it's not, I'm sorry. Trust me, it's lovely. What it does is it takes the, the ink and just moves it around for you. Let's clean that up and then that's ready for another time. It just moves the ink around and just, it's just pretty. Oh, it's just a really pretty effect. Okay, let's punch my daisies. So this is the um, daisy punch. 
the one we had. I don't did we launch it last year? I think so. so. That's the bigger one. And then I've got the medium daisy. I had oh it's here on here. The medium daisy has been launched this year and it's on a bundle with the daisy lane stamp set I'm using. So you get 10% off if you buy the two together. I will make sure that's all linked as well, as always. So I like the two sizes. There we go. Right, so what I want to do now is just curl the edges because I want this to be a flower that faces out. So just very gently and keep hold of your petals. I have been known to bone fold my petals off. Don't do what I do. Keep hold of the petal. It's just like curling how you would if you were curling ribbon. Does anybody do that anymore? I haven't curled ribbon in forever. Oh, I should. When my brother and I were younger and didn't have children and so we were just buying Christmas presents for our parents and one another, um, we used to try and outdo each other on the wrapping. He is extraordinarily stylish. There was one year where he wrapped everybody's Christmas presents in brown paper and then went to town with all of the ribbon, the tags, the lot. I was just put to shame. But yeah, we curled ribbon like it was going out of fashion. Um, and everybody's, with stuff that Justin did, everybody's wrapping paper. Like I say, it was all brown paper, but it was all the ribbons that were different. So everybody had their own colour. Genius. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a mini glue dot into the centre of one that I haven't inked, or that I haven't winked Stellard, and lay another one over the top. Actually, it might be easier if I go this way around. I went with all three colours. How fun. And what a lovely grouping of colours. So that's Gorgeous Grape, Bermuda Bay and Melon Mambo. So they're all brights. All colours from the brights collection. Right, I want some faceted gems. So I'm going to take the biggest one for the Gorgeous Grape flower and then the medium ones for the Melon Mambo and Bermuda Bay. And now what I need to do, because I don't want to lose any of that, whoops, curl, I'm going to double layer my dimensionals. So you put one on, peel off the backing, and then you put a second one on. So you get extra height, and then I won't lose any of that curl when I put the flowers on. Oh, I've just stuck that to my hand. Oh, goodness sake. So now I'm going to need a glue dot. Because it's all stuck to my hand. Great. Okay. So let's get this on. I thought I'd muted my phone. So I'll we'll have the big one up here. And the pink one there. And the blue one down here. Oh, I love that. Oh, that is so different. Same project, so different. How fabulous is that? Oh, I love it, love it. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm easily excited, but I love that. I love the, how different it looks. Oh, I hope you do too. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Speak to you very soon. Bye.